We're taking on the most powerful sports league on the planet tonight. On behalf of one of the greatest athletes in the history of our state, <laughs> Matt King has more in this On Your Side report. And Michelle Don, he's got Super Bowl rings, a whole bunch of Pro Bowl selections, and a slew of Hall of Fame teammates, but somehow, so far, Canton doesn't want him. Some of the game's greats, his family, and our community plan to change that. Watch that number 64. That's Jerry Kramer, the best right guard in football doing his job. He won Vince Lombardi five NFL championships and two other trophies that now bear the epic coach's name. He had to execute his that play every time correctly or it didn't work. Before that, he made all-star teams and school lore at the University of Idaho. We're just really proud of him and what he's done, and we're proud that he's a Vandal. And still before that, he played high school ball for Sand Point. With our number one player paving the way. Jerry Kramer's the only member of the NFL's 50th anniversary team not in the Hall of Fame, and he wants nothing to do with campaigning for his admission. None. He was absolutely upset that I even started the process again. Alicia Kramer boasts an NFL legend for a father. Dad has always been supportive of me, and I just felt like I owed this to him as a father. For the last year, she's distributed petitions, made T-shirts, and written thousands of letters to earn that last yard and catapult Dad over the pile and into Canton. Jerry Kramer ought to be in the Hall of Fame. Mark Johnson married a woman from Milwaukee and gained a household revering the Lombardi Packers and its Kramer-led sweep plays. When he heard of Alicia campaigning on her father's behalf, he volunteered the aid of his PR firm first to help out the Kramer family. Secondly, to kind of right a wrong. Uh, this guy's been overlooked for 40 some years. And the Idaho Packers peers knew it. Frank Gifford thought Kramer was already in the hall. Former Bears were called hating lining up across from him. These guys who played against him really think he's deserving. Staubach, Mackey, Bednarik, the Hall of Fame signatures on the stream of letters endorsing Kramer read like the roster of an NFL All Century team. And still, no Hall of Fame. Alicia hopes early next year with gridiron gods, a university, and a PR firm as teammates, that'll change. But even if Canton does shut him out for the 11th time, Kramer's affection for the game will remain. After all, he's played through colder days, crossed harder ground, and relished doing it. I love the weather, love the extremes, just love to play in it. As a matter of fact, I'm getting pumped. I want to go play now. Super cool day today. The coolest part was probably wading through all that Kramer memorabilia. I nearly missed every deadline tonight trying to get through it all. Hall of Fame or not, there's got to be some place somewhere that wants to display all this stuff in some sort of exhibit. Live in Studio Matt King, today 6 News. He's holding up Lombardi. Mm -hmm. Nothing else that should get him in, right?